punching solid looking Polish challenger Tomasz Bonin well Harrison's been made to fight harder than he's done in all of his fights previous to this and this will prove testament to his fitness if the fight continues in this format and we get to the end of the 12 rounds this is a lot about Augie Harrison's overall conditioning again just taking his time looking for that opening keeping Bonin honest with the initial southpaw jab then another decent left into that uh, nose which has seen a bit of action both as an amateur and as a pro Bonin throws the, the straight right to the body comes back with the left hook over the top that's brought him a certain amount of success you know hopefully this guy will start to tire in the next few rounds and all he will be able to use his, his nice long reach and just dictate the fight like he's doing now with that jab Harrison again landing with that right hand there's that clever left he does bring it around for a big man who's uh, standing more or less at 90 degrees to his opponent so it's got to travel right around the corner yeah and let's not forget he's fighting a much shorter guy so that left hand has to be has to have radar on it it really does in order for him to detonate that right hand Bonin still there coming up to the midway point within a minute of the last round to the halfway belt Harrison smiles seems to be enjoying this one again all these gone back to that strange tactic of cupping his hands around his head got him again with a left John King's had a good look and he shoves Bonin away as Harrison tried that really hurt the Polish challenger Harrison going for it now this is good from Harrison Bonin in Harrison's corner Harrison steps away gives Bonin a little bit of respite step back on command from John Kane in they come again Bonin's just looking for a little bit of a rest you know those punches hurt he's not been as active as he was he's backing up quite deliberately and he's puffing and blowing Bonin just five seconds remaining good finish by Harrison good run by Harrison got him with a good left and a right good finish by Harrison put a lot into the last 30 seconds of that round this has been a bruising hard encounter a hundred percent better in terms of quality and entertainment value than the Julius Francis fight and Harrison really produced some good stuff a little short right there and then a left and look at Harrison going to work and look at the crowd getting on their feet sensing that Harrison has the destiny of this contest and his career within his own hands back in the lead yeah that round just got him got his nose back in front needed it hopefully now he can sustain much more <laughs> into the second half of what has been a terrific heavyweight contest Bonin took that in the glove and again Harrison tried to pepper him with the side four rights but has Harrison kept a wee bit in reserve as he's done the typical only Harrison and box to his own pace and to his own pattern and will he decide to let go he certainly seems to Well, Bunyan came out in this round and tightened his defence, but Aldi pierced it with the jab and seems to have found a way in with it. He is tiring over this chunky Polish fellow. Alison Storner shouting to the body, to the head. Again, just taking a bit of a breather, allowing Bunyan to compose his thoughts. Here comes Harrison again, good shot to the body. And again, working hard to the uh, fairly well padded midriff of Bonin. He's taken those shots and is coming back. Old no, Ovi couldn't quite find a clean shot on target with that little onslaught. 
but he's pushing real hard. If he keeps knocking on the door, at some point bonnie has got to open up. That might allow Walkie straight left to come through. He's just waiting a little bit too long, needs to get busy again. Good right hand by Barney. Cleverly worked out, fainted with the left shoulder, just eased it forward a fraction and then let go with the right hand. Harrison gets him on the temple. Needs to up the work rate with about a minute to go to the end of this, the seventh. He's just waiting too long, is Audrey, I feel. It's, he's not really capitalised on the last round. He's allowed Bonian back into this fight. It's a better round by Bunyan. I don't think there's that much in it. Audley was doing enough at the start, certainly. The champion smiles. Good right hand by Bunyan. Harrison Showboats don't really think it hurt him, but it would have impressed John Keane. He's not scoring, but more importantly, will impress the three judges at ringside who are scoring. Will this sting Harrison into a bit of action late in the round has, has been the pattern, it seems to. Just ten remaining again, Bonyan gets yeah. him with a good right. The bigger punch has been landed by Bonyan this round. He's forced to fight. Although all the Harrison's actually pushed him back, he's boxed real hard. That's his round. And Harrison gives his opponent a little pat on the chest, as if to say, you're still there, you're still giving me trouble, and I still have to work out a way to beat you. They will be pretty pleased with this fella. Just the third contest for him outside uh, his native Poland. Two in Germany, which he won. And a lovely one, two, three combination by Bonin. And despite the Harrison's little glance, they did get through one, two, and the third one wasn't too far away. No real signs of wear and tear other than a, a graze on the right-hand side of his nose. Harrison as ever, <laughs> remarkably unmarked. <laughs> we felt some six weeks ago in Bristol that only Harrison should have got rid of Julius Francis before the... Uh, Scheduled 12 rounds were completed. He may have to go the 12 against Thomas Bonny unless he can step it up and put together a lot of sequences of very hard punches. Well, it's, it's Bunyan's right in this fight, he really is. All he has to start shining something a little bit different now in terms of variety. It's a good job that he uses Audley, but it's not coming in enough. He throws a beautiful straight left. We know he's got a great left uppercut. Bonin reading very nicely that Harrison was going to launch that left after the side for right and stepped out of the way. And the short fella who's got the advantage of punching upward into a big solid target area is doing well when he gets inside. I'd like to see Harrison get up on his toes like he did in, in a couple of rounds previously and really just take this guy to school. When he does that he looks totally different class. But he's just not doing it often enough. Bonyan gets another round under his belt and his confidence is going to really grow because he's going to say to himself, you know, I've got another three rounds in this fight, I can get to the end of this fight and possibly win it. Better by Harrison again, Bonyan just about saw it coming and no more and attacks very quickly. For a man who's a very little experience uh, in the ring against Southpaws, he's worked out this style of Harrison's reasonably well. Harrison still looking for that big left and hasn't really delivered apart from a few rounds ago when he spun Bunyan right round. I think Bunyan's just starting to feel the pace of his fight now. Taking in deep breaths, throws the, throws the right to the body again. Comes back with the left hook. Better by Harrison. Bunyan on the back foot looks a bit more vulnerable. Can Harrison keep the pressure on? It's time to dig in, I feel, for Oldie Harrison and really try and stamp his authority on this fight. The pork's onto a right hand and a left hook and a head from Bunyan. Well, that was more or less the same sequence 
with which Bart